So we're back again at Old Swamp Apiary and, and we got a hive that's really concerning us. Um, hopefully the video is showing that we have thousands of bees out in front of the hive that are dead. So we don't, we don't know at this stage what caused it, um, whether they um, maybe got into a chemical situation and brought it back and these guys died and were kicked out. Uh, we did have some cold weather that came all of a sudden after a, a long spell of warm weather and we're maybe uh, climate weather could be a factor, but we haven't been in it. So we're gonna actually open this hive up and see what we have going on inside and be hoping for the best this whole time that we still have a hive that can survive. So let's see here, we're gonna kind of gently open up the top. Um, the first observation has got a lot of hive beetles on top and not a lot of activity. Um, this was a super that we added early to uh, for honey and so not much is going on there so we're going to take this top off and move it to the side and kind of walk our way down this is a uh, medium it was part of the brood chamber we do have some bees that are still actively in here so <clears throat> we'll start kind of pulling things out one at a time and see what we have left and we're going to set these beetle traps on the top These frames are really, really, really kind of pulled together. I want to pull it off. This is super light. Uh, we do have some bees in the bottom. Uh, these frames would be difficult to take apart. They're so, uh, the comb is so attached to one another. And it doesn't look like there's a lot in there and pretty low activity. So we're gonna go on down to our bottom here and kind of work our way through these frames. Nothing there. Well, this is good news. It appears that we do have some bees in here. Uh, right now I'm looking for activity that there is a queen that's laying eggs and at the moment I don't see anything. Keep working our way in. Uh, so we got some cat brood that's still here and there's our queen. Right there. So we do have a queen that's alive, and that's a really, really, really good sign. I'll keep pointing to her. And what I'm going to do is place this back in the hive so she is there and safe. And I'm going to work through these other frames because I want to see if she's laying. And I've still got my eye on her right now. I see her moving around, so I'm going to keep this frame off there. And we have. Well, I guess a little bit of capped, but I'm still not seeing any eggs and makes me a little concerned. And we got capped over here as well. And they're storing a little bit of honey and we got a few bees emerging, but... A little larvae. Yeah, those actually, that's the bees actually emerging at this point. Oh, okay. Um, so, but no eggs as of yet. Let's move on over. So we got honey, so they've got food. On this side here. So I think what we're going to do for the time being, we're not gonna jump to any conclusions. What we are gonna do is reduce the size of this hive. So that the hive only has to manage the space that they can handle, which will be just this bottom box. And we're gonna give that queen a little time and see if she starts laying. It is possible that this hive did swarm and she is a young queen who either has not mated or is taking her time getting started laying. So we're gonna we're gonna give her a little bit of time. And we're gonna give her we're gonna make this hive smaller in order for them to better manage themselves. We're gonna set this box in front, let these guys kind of find their way home. Mm 
This one we're going to leave off. We'll be there for another day. We're going to end with just the one. Put it on another hive that is in the position to actually use it like that.